Good morning, guys. Hey, bonus video this morning, right? All right, so a little late on my shake, but I'm going to get it in. This is my breakfast every morning. Um, so what I do is I got my Oster, best invention ever. Some people call it Oster, Oster, whatever. What it is is tiny blender, okay? Nothing to wash really, though. That's the greatness about it, okay? These are the cups that come with it. You can drink straight out of these cups, take them with you. They got a little travel lid that goes on them. But since I'm at home, I'm not gonna need the lid, okay? Good thing you might wanna purchase too, and they're dishwasher safe and they're great. Fat straws, okay? Um, typically, you can get these five to six to a pack, and like I said, they're uh, reusable. So you just throw them in the dishwasher and there you go. All right, so. The way I make my shake, okay, I'm gonna get a couple of ice cubes and I have figured out the consistency that I like. I don't like it really thick, but then again, I don't like it watery either. I'm not looking to have chocolate milk, okay? Um, so I like that medium. And what I've determined, and the reason why I like these cups, because it allows you to get the exact right amount of water in here for you. And then look at it that way. Oh my gosh, you're getting water too. And a lot of, know a lot of you don't drink enough water, okay? Tip. You should be drinking half your body weight in ounces of water. That's if you don't exercise. That's just the average Joe, okay? That's just what you need to stay hydrated. And you'll notice that as you exercise, you drink more water, even better, right? So take your weight, divide it by two. That's how many ounces of water you should be drinking a day. Split it up over your day. What I tell my clients so that you get a visual, because they like to drink out of the same cup all day long, that's fine. But what I want you to do is get water bottles, okay? because it's got the ounces right there printed on them. Line them up on the countertop for your full day or take them to the office with you and set them on your desk. That way you have a visual of how much water you're supposed to be drinking throughout the day and keep refilling that cup if you want. But that way, at the end of the day, you're not still sitting there with four bottles of water or else you're gonna be peeing all night. I mean, really, who wants to get up all night? All right, so I'm gonna grab some ice. Now mine, Oh, perfect. See? All right. Four ice cubes. That's how much I use. So I throw my ice in there. All right? Goes right to the bottom. Now, this is the way I level mine because that way it's going to blend better when you flip it. All right? Bear with me. I'm going to grab my water. Okay, I'm back, got my water. Now my water, okay, this cup has a line on it. it, says 20 ounces, okay? I am maybe half an inch down from that 20 ounce. You can see it's almost to the top, okay? Today I'm gonna do my chocolate vegan, okay? I've noticed I woke up this morning craving some sweets. You know what that means? I probably had too much salt for dinner. Typically if you eat a lot of salt, and I mean, who doesn't? Salt's in everything, right? I don't add salt to anything, but typically speaking, look at your food levels, you'll notice that there's, uh, there's salt and everything. So, my chocolate vegan, because I want something sweet this morning, and I know a lot of you drink the chocolate shakes, okay? I drink the vegan just because my particular um, body does not process a lot of whey protein uh, very effectively. Kind of gets me bloated and gives me gas, which I don't need with clients. I mean, how embarrassing is that? So, go ahead and pour my shake in there, okay? Now, just so you know, the packets, okay, are even to one scoop in the bulk bag. So if you have that big bag, okay, and it's got that scoop in it, you'll notice that there is a line on that scoop. You go past that. You go all the way to the top of that scoop, and then you smooth it off the top. That's how much is in this little packet. So this is one serving, all right? Look at that. Okay, that's your blade. Screws right on top. Easy peasy. Now, it's going to get loud, okay, because I'm going to blend. You're gonna turn it upside down, okay? I shake mine because what it does is releases that ice from the bottom. But you do want your ice down at the bottom because you want it to blend first before the liquid, all right? It's got little arrows on it, okay? User-friendly. And twist. All right, I'm gonna try to talk over this. But with vegan especially, you wanna blend, 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 okay? So I'm going to blend for about 45 seconds. I'm going to 
gonna take it off and I'm gonna shake it up, okay? Now these are great blenders, okay? But they're not your high power margarita blenders, right? That's really gonna get that stuff all the way at the top. So I shake it and then I stick it back on. Maybe about another 45 seconds. I feel it swirling. Still faster than any breakfast I've ever seen. At least you're not over a hot stove like doing some eggs and all that good stuff, right? One more time. Third time's a charm, right? That should be good. All right, so this screws right off the top. Good. This is the only thing that goes in the dishwasher. Really? Really? How easy is that? Don't have this big old thing I have to clean out. All right, so this is your cup. You're going to drink right out of it. Now, as you can see, my consistency, okay, it's not chocolate milk consistency, but it's not really thick like a shake consistency either. But that's the way I like mine. As it gets hotter, I may tend to make it a little bit more thicker because then it's going to be cold, right? It's going to cool your insides when your outside is like 110 degrees, all right? Perfect. No lumps, okay? No powdery substance. You can see it leaves a little bit of film through the outside, which is fine. That's natural with any protein shape. Now I'm going to get this in me, and it's going to be fantastic. Rinse my straw, rinse my cup, put that in the dishwasher, okay? These little buddies, okay, usually about 30 bucks at Walmart's where I found it. You can probably find it even cheaper. Check your Bed Bath & Beyond. They always send out those circulars where you get 20% off. Okay, then you're talking about $20 blender, right? And they typically come with two of these and two blades, okay? Treat yourself once a month, go buy you another cup. That way you're not constantly running your dishwasher and you always have one ready to go, okay? Because if there's any obstacle that presents itself, you're going to look for any excuse in the world. Oh, well, all my cups are dirty. Oh, I'll do it later. No, no. Do not set yourself up for failure. Set yourself up for success. Have it ready to go. Have them clean. You can have a couple in the dishwasher and then a couple in the cabinet and you're still good to go, okay? I recommend first thing in the morning, get it in you, get it working. It's going to speed up your metabolism, okay? It's going to set you up for success the rest of the day. Chocolate for breakfast, I mean, can't get much better than that. All right, that's it. So whatever your shake happens to be, there you go, nice and easy. People want to add fruit, keep in mind your calorie content on your fruit, okay? These little babies right here, and I should know this, 170 calories, okay, right here. So you add a couple strawberries, um, people that like to add bananas, half a banana is a serving, okay, don't eat a full banana, stick that other half in the freezer, because it goes great, a fro half a frozen banana in your shake, makes it cold, acts as a piece of ice, keeps it nice and thick, and the bananas keep forever in the freezer, that way they're not out here on the cabinet getting all nice and brown and gross. So keep in mind, go to my fitness pal, something like that, and look at your calories that you're adding into your shake. The whole goal of this for most of you is you're trying to drop a few pounds, okay? So you wanna keep that shake as few calories as possible. If you're mixing your shake with milk, try halving your milk, okay? Do half water, half milk. It's gonna make it a little bit thicker, okay? Um, I don't do milk. I take calcium supplements, um, dairy, whole nother conversation, not going to get into it with you. You want to talk about it, we'll talk about it, okay, later on. Also inflammatory when it comes to your gut, so um, I do strictly water. But anyway, add your calories back in so you know how much, how much you're getting in that one meal, all right? Replacing a meal. This doesn't go with your breakfast. This is your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner, okay? Good. Fantastic. Bonus video for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.